Howdy folks, I hope you're all doing well, post-editing Plum here, and I wanted to get on here before the video and just apologize really, I guess. Um, I know I say I upload every Wednesday-ish, but that's why there's the ish there, because sometimes it doesn't happen. And I know what you're thinking, Plum, your last video was two weeks ago, girl. Get it together. And you know what? You're right. Thank you for calling me out. Um, I have been studying for a very important exam, which thankfully I passed. Not. And I received my licensing for my profession, so I'm very happy about that, but that took up a lot of my time. So this video is a little bit late, but I promise going forward we're getting a new video every Wednesday-ish. We're keeping the disclaimer there for the ish. Be sure to like and subscribe, as well as comment what you guys think of Stacey's story so far, and where you guys see her story going. As late as it is, enjoy the video! Hello everybody and welcome back to my rags to riches challenge and welcome to part one. I'm so excited. Here we have Stacy. She's a little bit scared right now. If you watched the first video with the cast and backstory then you'd know she's not used to having to be out here in the streets on her own with nothing. Um, so a little bit about the rules and guidelines. You cannot complete the main goal until you've completed the corresponding mandatory rules. Cheating and use of mods to ease the challenge is not allowed. You can only use cheat codes to move objects, take away your money, or reset your sim. You could choose your sim's age and lifespan. I think it ha I have it on normal, but I might up it to long lifespan. <laughs> um, and right now she is a young adult. Move her your sim to the most expensive empty lot and get rid of all simoleons. And I have already moved her to the only empty lot in Del Sol Valley, and I have also gotten rid of her simoleons. We have some rules about the spouse, but we're not going to worry about that quite yet. Basically, when it comes to the spouse, they cannot earn or make any money without the mandatory rules or and the main goal being complete. You can only place things at your sims lot after completing the mandatory rules for building a home. You have to sleep in public areas or a friend's home if you don't own a bed, so we're about to sleep at the park across the street. You can only eat dishes made in public places or at your friend's home, but you can't take the food with you, so I have to leave the food there. And I cannot keep any simoleons made through hobbies, so she's going to have to forage and sell things to get herself started. Okay, so as you can see, we have zero simoleons and not a great first night. It's thunderstorming, uh, unfortunately, for Stacy, and she's a little terrified. She doesn't know what she's doing out here in this thunderstorm, and she is afraid of the dark, actually, so she's not having a good time. Stacy never knows what's lurking in the dark. Darkness is nothing but a veil to hide the most gruesome and terrifying creatures of the night. She feels like they could pop up at any moment. And lately, this man named Vlad... 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 Vlasilos? You know, I've never known how to say his name. This... This... <laughs> and lately, this man named Vlad keeps calling. So she's a little terrified. She just moved out here to Del Sol Valley and she doesn't know what's going on. So let's, I mean, the only thing she can do, she literally has no money. So let's see if there's anything around the park. Ooh, looks like some food that nobody finished. She's not super hungry right now. Honey, there's nowhere to run inside. You don't have an inside. Let's see, can we dig up some stuff? So after she eats, maybe we'll have her dig up some things to try and make a little a little bit of money at least ooh ooh uh, there's also some food here that someone left and let's see what else we're going to get here a fossil she could i think you could sit, take the fossil to be like extracted you have to take it to it to be extracted first or you can extract it yourself i guess which is good. Ooh, $85! That's pretty good! As well as some common up, we're just gonna sell all that. So we're already at $125, which of course is not a lot of money, but it's it's a little something. So we can at least make ourselves food. I'm actually have her nap a few times because she's she's this poor girl, she's gonna be so uncomfortable. Oh, she had a nightmare. A 
about an overly muscular Yama-chan. Hey, yo. But the image will last a lifetime. Another nightmare? Oh, this poor girl. Nothing but nightmares. I mean, I'd be having nightmares all the time, too, if I had to sleep, just sleep out in the rain in the dark like this. Ooh, she's cold. Hard butt. <laughs> Ooh, and she's got to use the restroom. So let's change her outfit into <laughs> into her winter weather, and then I'll send her to the... Okay, girly. And then I will send her to the bathroom. Yeah, she is having a terrible time out here. She's very high maintenance, so being outside like this is not her bag. Oh, what a wonderful way to spend Winterfest. Oh, look, there's something else we can dig up here. I think I missed that. Unless, oh, I guess everything just reset. Takes advantage. Oh, she's too uncomfortable to dig. Ooh, some lemons. We can definitely harvest those maybe when she's a little bit more comfortable at least. Oh, she's very angry. Worst day ever. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. You are going to have a lot of those. So our first main goal is to build a home. This is going to be a little difficult um, because it's going to take a lot to build a home. And foraging is going to be a little difficult because she's going to be very angry and uncomfortable for a lot of this. So let's dig up some stuff, try and get some money, harvest everything in the area, dig up some more. So maybe we can um, take her to like the gym and she can take a shower there and maybe meet some people too. Yeah. Let's see, is there anything here she can eat real quick or has everything spoiled? This has not spoiled and it doesn't even have a spoil time on it. So I'm wondering. She dislikes gardening? Yeah, I feel like she would definitely dislike gardening. It's She's like has to get in the dirt for that. She doesn't want to do that. Can she eat the lemons? She can't eat the lemons. Maybe we'll keep the lemons to um to eat. Maybe we won't sell them all. Why was there a fish in the ground? But for her to build a house, we have to have level five of handiness skill as well as level three of logic skill, and then we have to <laughs> Pay a $500 fine for the noise disturbance for building a home. Ooh, I forgot she can also rummage through trash. Maybe we can find her some rummage through trash and find her some stuff? Is this somebody we could be friends with? It is. Maybe give her a friendly introduction? We probably won't talk to her too much right now so that we can because we're Probably a little too angry to make friends, but we could at least have her know somebody, you know? Everybody's so upset. She's got to make sure I didn't break a nail. She's like, oh, so are you from the area? And she's like, well, not really. I'm kind of don't really have a place to stay right now. I'm kind of just figuring everything out. And I don't think she she was too fond of that for some reason. Uh, let's take her to the gym so she can take a shower there and meet some people. And then we might also go ahead after we go to the gym, we might take her to the park. So maybe we can build up her logic yeah. skills some. Also, when it comes to this challenge, I don't think I'm going to travel anywhere outside of del sol valley unless somebody invites her somewhere and, and you know they're taking her with them because realistically how would she have money to go to you know oasis springs or get to san my shuno or something like her friend's gonna take her right okay so we've made it to the gym and first things first she's definitely going to take a shower so let's have her come in here and take a shower is cold shower gonna help with her anger if it does, let's definitely do that because I would prefer if she wasn't stomping around everywhere. Let's freshen up and then also practice our acting because our long goal is to be an actress. 
So over this time, while maybe she can't have a job, we could definitely work to build her acting career. Ooh, maybe we can also try to meet some celebrities, you know? I think it'd probably be a good idea to network like that. Definitely feeling herself a lot more. Feeling a lot better. After that shower. We're gonna put away the Winterfest tab because, unfortunately, we can't really celebrate Winterfest. She's definitely having a little bit of a hard time because this is her first Winterfest without her family and she isn't really talking to them right now because she really wants to try and give them space after everything that happened. And of course, if you don't know everything that happened, watch that last video for oh. with the cast and the background story because we definitely oh, talk about it there. Your Maybe we can meet in a nice little boo thing or something. We should definitely meet some guys too. Let's just have a friendly introduction and meet everybody. Okay, that's enough struggling for now. <laughs> let's have her change her- Oh, we finally got the acting skills. She's finally putting in some effort. So let's change into our active wear. We're feeling really flirty. Maybe let's go ahead and brush our teeth too. And then maybe let's go over here and introduce ourselves to Mr. Akira. He's a very cute townie, so I think she would love to meet him. The Samba. Maybe friendly, maybe um, ask about reflex point. He does not want to talk about that. He's like, eh. Discuss his sad moods. What's going on? And then maybe fish for some compliments right after that. You want to make you, you want to seem like you care, but you really are looking to get it for yourself. You know what I mean? So she's, we've come to the gym to basically do what we needed to do, which was shower, kind of brush our teeth, maybe meet a person or two. Let's see if there's a celebrity here that we can try. You know, she's a celebrity. She's a B-lister. She's pretty up there. Let's see if maybe we can introduce ourselves to her. Maybe we can try and get to know her a little bit, maybe. We can have a few celebrity friends. Let's see. She seems to be the only... Oh, no, she's not. We have another celebrity here. Maybe we're going to introduce us. Try it. Or at least try to introduce ourselves to her as well. Whoa, oh my gosh, she's scared. She scared me running by. Not the best way to, for that to go over, but, you know, she tried. Okay, so it went over a little better with Kayla. Ask her about her interests, compliment her appearance, suck up to her a little bit. We won't ask about her interests too much, you know, because we don't want to bore her. Oh, okay, so a little too late. We've already started to bore her. Sir, we're not at the spa anymore. Did you follow me here from the spa? Oh my gosh. Anyways, um, we're going to pretend like we don't see that. We're going to play some chess to build our skill. Building logic skill is going to be fairly easy, but when it comes to building up her handiness skill, I don't really know how we're going to do that. She's definitely starting to get dark, er, afraid because it's getting dark. Turn on the park lights if they're not already on. And there's some people here we can meet. Paparazzi. The paparazzi's here, which she pro honestly, she probably thinks the paparazzi is here for her. Like, let's be real. She thinks that they're here to get her, even though she's definitely not a celebrity yet. And she's definitely got a little bit of money to cook something, or we can eat up the lemons that we have. Okay, I will say, maybe we will travel to other worlds, but we'll only travel when she has money because she has to have money to pay for a train ticket right to get to other cities so if she has money we can travel a little bit and i'll take out maybe like ten dollars and we'll say that that ten dollars is for like a round trip ticket oh my gosh father winter friendly introduction go meet father winter maybe he'll give us something good we can sell there's a mailbox hidden here uh-huh can we ask for a gift, maybe? Just immediately ask for a present. No. <laughs> she hasn't been very good, but, you know, she loves getting gifts, so of course she wants to ask for a gift immediately. And then who else but her would fish for compliments from Father Winter? Who is this? Baby Ariel. 
Wasn't that like some TikTok star or something? I think so. But she's a teenager, so we're not really gonna get to know her. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Surprisingly, Ooh. it's not a lump of coal. Let's see what she gets. Lim -la. Eh, Land <laughs> coral <laughs> garden. <laughs> oh, so not really something she could sell, but it can become <laughs> useful later on if we start oh, gardening. Fredish. Okay, so let's, we've got our gift from Father Winter, so let's dig up some stuff and see what we can find that we can sell for a little bit more money. What is this? Ooh, a cherry tree. That'll be nice when that finally blooms. I have no idea what season it's good in, though. Let's take some naps on the thing. Can we rummage? No trash to rummage for yet, but I'm definitely probably going to have her rummage through some garbage cans for some things. Oh my gosh, it really started thunderstorming while, she's, while she was sleeping. Uh, oh my gosh, this poor girl. Oh my gosh. Oh, this poor girl. And she's having nightmares upon nightmares upon nightmares. We'll walk back over here to the spa and shower and get ready for the day. And then, honestly, if they have an umbrella there, we might steal it so that she's not constantly just in the rain. So we're back at good old, our good old gym to, of course, take a shower and use the restroom. Well, let's have her use the restroom first and then take a shower. And then we're going to brush our teeth and freshen up. When she's feeling a little bit better, we'll have her freshen up. Unfortunately, I don't see any umbrellas that we can steal. I'm hoping that eventually there's somewhere that we can take an umbrella. She's still too uncomfortable to freshen up, so let's just travel. And then, of course, after she travels, I'll take out the $10 at the end of the day for the expenses of going there and coming back. Okay, so we'll go to Oasis Spring and we'll go to the park because there is a few bookshelves in there. So we can definitely use that. Okay, so it is gorgeous here and dry, thankfully. Definitely not cold and rainy like it is in Del Sol at the moment. Um, can we rummage through any of the trash bins? No. This park definitely has a lot of collectibles, so we are definitely going to go around and gather up on those. Let's see if there's a grill around here that we can use. There is. So let's grill up something. Let's grill up the cheapest thing on the menu, honestly. So far, that's looking like grilled fruit. But let's see. Okay, hot dogs. I don't really think she likes hot dogs, but I don't think right now she can really be too picky. So let's make some hot dogs. Then we'll go around and get some collectibles. And then we'll build our skills. Dang, there's no bookshelves here for her to use. Okay, so what we'll do instead, change of plans. We'll grill up some food, eat, get some collectibles, and then travel again to Strangerville to use the public library there. I know for a fact the library is still there because I haven't edited Strangerville yet for my save. Going to cost her... $15 because she's going to have to buy another ticket to get to Strangerville. So we're definitely losing out on some money here, but I think we can do it. So let's go around and collect as much as we can. And then after that, we'll probably eat one more hot dog and then head out to Strangerville. Ooh, she's going to hate looking for frogs. And she's going to hate that because she's so high maintenance. Unfortunately, there's definitely not as much fruit out, so she can't have some free food there. I know she's punching the air, digging up all of these gems that she can't wear. She would love to have all of this as jewelry, but she has to just dig it up and sell it. She's so uncomfortable. Her butt hurts from having to sit. She's feeling sick from the frog. A squeamish lesson. Stacy is a squeamish sim. Squeamish sims can become nauseated from slimy, icky things. Yeah, sounds about right. Maybe in the meantime, we can 
send a text to a friend or chat with we can chat with Yuki, so let's talk to her for a little bit. Uh, it's not really healthy. Actually, w what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to Strangerville after she finishes talking with Yuki. Yes, there is still a library here, thank goodness. So let's go to the library here. Okay, so it's definitely raining here. The rain follow us here, but that's okay. We're going inside. So let's go inside and read. Oh my gosh, are there no books on... Please don't tell me this library has no books on logic. There are no skill books at this library. Oh my gosh. So let's just have her, I guess, relax a little bit. Read something. Hopefully that'll help. She's only got a few more minutes of feeling discomfort. Oh, no, 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 no. Our computer just freed up. What can we do? Let's pause and see what we can do on the computer to hopefully help build her skills. We can blog about feelings and browse the web. We can order things, but we don't really... Not really much we can do. We can't upgrade it because she's too uncomfortable for it, but upgrading would help. But for now, let's play a game just to help her kind of be less uncomfortable. So she's definitely not as uncomfortable and she can do a lot more now, which is perfect. So let's try and upgrade. We can't upgrade it at all, but we can go play chess with this guy. at least help build our logic skill in the meantime that's something he's probably spewing conspiracy theories at her and she's just like um okay he's like the computers they're all watching us like i don't know if i really buy that but okay we're actually doing pretty good on building logic skill and we only have to get logic to level three uh -huh. So it shouldn't take us too long to get to there. Like I said, my biggest thing is the handiness skill. Because I thought she'd be able to read books on it, but there are no books on it. We can, of course, repair objects, upgrade objects. Um, but she's not quite good enough to be able to upgrade stuff. So the biggest thing is repairing objects. Apparently woodworking also builds the skill. And I think if we go to Del... S no, not Del Sol Valley. If we go to... San my Shuno, there are, there should be in the museum, the art museum, there should be a woodworking table. There are a lot of conspiracy theorists out. Kind of crazy. I wonder what collectibles look like in this area. Do we have any? Ooh. Is she okay? She is not doing very well. What the heck is this? Maybe the conspiracy theorists are onto something. Oh my gosh, it's leaving! I've never seen that before. Oh my gosh. That is insane. Look, if they have that... <laughs> in the game we should be able to have cars okay if they have the animation for that car to back off of the road or back off of that parking spot and move onto the road and drive off yeah we should have cars honestly we're gonna get to level three pretty quick on this we might be able to do this today which i would really appreciate i think we might go ahead and spend the extra five dollars to go ahead and go to san Shuno, and we might just stay in san Shuno for the night rather than coming home Hi, Stacy. Rude. <laughs> Hi, Stacy. Darling Walsh has asked me out on a date. Should I say, isn't she like a teenager? FBI, open up! I don't think that's a good idea. No. <laughs> yes, okay, we're at logic level three. Perfect. <laughs> So now we just have to figure out how to build Tandiness skill. <laughs> so let's go. She heard in the library somebody say that, oh, well, if you go to San Maishuno, they have this really cool workshop. 
in their museum where you can just learn to build stuff. So she thought that would be perfect for her. So we're, that's where we're going to go. Sandlight Shuno is a little bit of a farther train ride. So it's going to cost $10. So, so far, we're sitting at $25 for the day, which isn't terrible. Okay, so we're here in San Mai Shuno, and of course, she is loving the city here. She's loving the city, she's loving the vibrance, all of the energy, she loves seeing the street performers, and she's so happy she made it here safely. So now, we're gonna go in the library, or excuse me, not the library, we're gonna go to the museum, and yes, they were right, they totally do have a workshopping class, so she is going to craft and try and... Unfortunately, it's five to ten dollars per class, but she really needs to build up the skill and really doesn't have many other ways to do it. So she's going to have to buckle up and just pay the price. Yes, we have acquired the handiness skill, so we're getting somewhere. She's definitely feeling it when it comes to building this it's because she's self-absorbed but she is a little tense she's she broke her nail from this and she's like when am i gonna get my nails redone i can't afford to get that done right now oh have you come to give us some pointers oh tina tinker maybe let's give miss tina a friendly introduction as well He's like, uh, you just build things for a living? Isn't that kind of like a lot of work? Tina's like, well, yeah, but I enjoy it. I make a lot of furniture in particular. Stacy, why are you talking about woohoo with this girl that you just met? She's definitely not having a good time with this, but she's doing a little better than she anticipated. Let's see how she did and not very well um it's a pile of wood <laughs> but it's worth ten dollars so we could sell it we kind of broke even with it so not really a loss oh we've already got her handiness up to level two this is wonderful this is perfect for her to build up this skill we could probably get this done tonight i wonder if there are any books here Oh, there's a music room up here too? Wow. Ooh, there's a bench up here so we can sleep inside or we could sleep on the couch in here, which would be honestly fantastic. <laughs> it definitely beats sleeping outside. Such a cool little area. We can microwave some stuff, get some quick meals. This might definitely be the place for us to just hang out when we <laughs> need a place to go. Ooh, we can also order some food at the bar. Oh, what's some of the a bowl of olives? I don't really think she likes bowls of olives like that. But maybe she'll have some pretzels. Oh, it's Akira. Let's chat with him. Ask about his day. She's like, what are you doing here? And he's like, oh, you know, I actually live here in San Maishuno. I just work in Del Sol Valley. And she's like, oh my gosh. That's so crazy. And he's like, well, what are you doing here? And she's like, well, I'm at the library to, you know, just build some skills and try and improve myself a little bit. You know how it is. And I thought definitely coming to this museum would get my creative juices flowing. Ooh, he's romantic. What are our rules around romantic relationships? So the only rules is we have to have a starter point home before we can get married i don't see any rules about having a relationship so we could definitely have us a little booski or at least a couple side pieces in the meantime until it's time for us to settle down maybe go ahead and ask him if he's single <sighs> and then maybe compliment his appearance and then fish for those compliments and then maybe we'll go to bed but she's very tired. Oh, oh, she already fished for compliments, so we're gonna exit out that. Oh, he's like, actually, I am single. Right now, I'm kind of just trying to figure myself out. I'm a little bit later to the game when it comes to figuring myself out, but it's never too late. And she's like, yeah, of course. 
frazzled. So I think we're going to call it a night there. She's pretty tired. So let's have her go to bed upstairs. It seems pretty quiet in this room so she can take her naps in here. But at least tonight she's able to sleep inside where it's warm, not in the rain. And she can be on a comfy couch and not a park bench.